Hello, so Beastall from eBay has really kindly sent me some more stuff, so as usual I'll try and remember to put a link to his channel below. Uh, what he has sent me, I'm doing a video today on the Polish Foo one, I think it's called NBC suit or CBRN suit, modern Polish one. Uh, this is actually expired, but it, you know, should be fine for the video. Um, just because obviously I'm not testing it against actual chemical weapons anyway. Um, so he sent me this, he sent me a gas mask repair kit, um, some really cool sort of digital camo, um, pixel camo, sort of cold weather stuff. I can't remember if he said that was Polish or Ukrainian, but there's that. And also an IP4 uh, rebreather with the canister and everything for that. And a gas mask testing kit. Um, so lots of stuff to do in several videos. I'm not going to show that all in one video. Um, but I thought we'd start with the NBC suit because that's what would probably interest people the most on this channel. Um, so I think it's 5.5 kilos this in the satchel with like everything in it. Um, now the really nice thing with this is the Wikipedia page actually ex ex exists for the Foo one, so I had a quick look at it. It's on the Polish Wikipedia, but if you use Google Translate to do it, I'll try and remember to put this in the description as well, um, you can feed it through Google Translate and it actually comes back pretty readable. Um, so there's a couple of bits which don't really make sense, but for the most part I can totally get what the article is saying. So it says this is designed to be worn with the MP5 mask, which I have. And this suit's kind of a modernised thing, it's meant to replace a lot of the old, um, like, you know, the L1, L2 suits, and is it the OP1 suit? Um, so if you've seen some of those Polish NBC suits I have, you know the kind of thing it was meant to replace. Like lots of modern things, it's kind of, you know, one of those hybrid waterproof and charcoal suits, I guess, um, that's meant to replace the less comfortable rubber suits. But as I've said before, the rubber suits generally are a bit, you know, stronger because they don't really expire. So if I was personally to use a suit, I'd always go for a rubber one, but this is what this is. So, there you go. Um, apparently it was made by Mask Pole, like a lot of the Polish military CBR and stuff is. So you can undo that, and then, can I put this, I just wonder if I can put this over my shoulder like this. That might work, because it's going to be quite difficult to, uh, to attempt to uh, unzip all this. I was showing it to the camera. I mean, if I was sensible, I'd have done this on the floor, wouldn't I? But oh well. So, what we have here is I think that's a little carry case in there. I was reading that I think there's a carry bag for the uh, shoes and everything else. So, let's pop that down there. Um, so, there's your gloves. These are probably going to be some of the best CBRN gloves I have because they're modern ones. Apparently, these are butyl rubber. There's the overboots, chemical overboots. Uh, these actually look fairly decent big ones because with a lot of the NBC suits I've had, they're like little sock things. Um, again, butyl rubber, which is what you want. So some of the stuff I may, I may end up using for lots of other stuff. Okay, so here's the uh, bit you're actually waiting to see. So there we go, mask pole. Uh, so this one expired, I believe, in 2001, or maybe that was the production date. Yeah, I think that's going to be the production date. Data product is the bigger. Like I said, I know I've got a lot of Polish viewers on here, so if you can somehow read that on the camera, I assume that's the production date. Um, so I assume this probably ran out. I think he did say in the letter when it ran out, but I'm assuming it's going to be like a 10 or 15 year thing on this. So it's most likely expired. It's 2001 on the instructions on the back. So yeah, all those dates match up. Now from what I read. Um, once the suit is opened, it expires within 30 days, apparently, like the charcoal layer. And that's the same thing 3M say about their disposable masks. Once you open a charcoal disposable mask, it runs out in 30 days. So I guess that's pretty standard. Anyway, I'm just going to go get my knife, because it's going to be fairly difficult to actually open this packet without a knife, because it's obviously designed to be a really sturdy, good packet, and then we'll get into the foil. Okay, so here we go. Oh, camera randomly zoomed in then. There we go. So, use my knife. Probably not the most sensible way of opening a packet, but oh well. There we go, that's into that bit. Put this back in my pocket. Then rip the top off. And pull this out, if I can get it out. Shake out the instructions, let's have a quick look at them. Even though I very much doubt I'll be able to read it, so. Instructions, blah 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 blah. As I said, what I'll do is for some of this stuff, I will hold it up to the camera. Again, this is probably how long the suit lasts and things like that on this thing. Uh, so I'll hold it up to the camera because I know I've got Polish viewers and people who speak Polish even if they're not from Poland. So you can pause on any of this stuff if you're interested in it. Um, so 
but that's just to give you a quick look it's not really thorough but I'm sure you can probably find online some of the stuff about these instructions if you really wanted to look at them so now let's look at the bit we really want to look at which is the NBC suit so I'm assuming I'm probably going to cut along this bit or can I open it this way yeah it's really well sealed well the good thing of these suits is it seems they're so well foil wrapped so they're actually um you know, you're not going to get into it by accident. I wonder actually if my tactical pen can go through there. That would be an interesting test. Oh, good, it can. And I can hear the... Right, we knew that's um, a good seal on that then. So, yeah, this suit is obviously um, properly stored, which is really good. This isn't one of those dodgy NBC suits in a... Um, there we go. You know, dodgy wrapper. This thing is um, properly sealed. So... Let's get that out of the foil. That's a really interesting smell. Mmm, new NBC suit smell. I'm assuming that's some kind of chemical coating on the um, thing. So let's get this open. Right, okay, so I'm assuming we've got both bits wrapped in string with each other. Let's see if I can get that off without cutting it. Looks like I can. So there we go. So this should probably be both bits of the suit. Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'll play dress up. I'm not going to do it um, on camera because that will take a while. The really good thing as well is it now means I have like the actual cool pol uh, Polish camo pattern. What's this? Pantera camo or something it's called? Um, WZ93 or something like that. I can't remember if that is the name of it. Um, but it's the one where it's actually quite hard to get non-faded versions of this camo. But at least I've got that on the NBC suit. Not that it'd be very comfortable to do a camo test in an NBC suit. Anyway, let me see if I can um, stop the camera, gear up in all of this properly with the MP5, and then we'll try and do a primitive test of the suit. Right, I'll just quickly show you the trousers in the mirror before I put anything else on, because you can actually see it better because of how distance works in mirrors. So let me just move this out of the way. Maybe if I stand on here, you can see the trousers a bit better. Um, but they've got the bit around the bottom to go around your shoes when you've got the thing on to keep the trouser there. Obviously, the suspenders elasticated so they work fine uh, there's a zip and velcro and a button here so that all does up fine uh, fairly comfortable for NBC suit trousers my legs also are able to go through them quite easily unlike some of these suits when you unpack them and you have to spend ages kind of prizing the suit apart to get in so so far so good okay so this basically totally unzips so you can um, undo it then there's a bit of velcro you can stick across the middle you probably can't really see uh -huh. there you go on the camera, so let's re-zip this suit up. I wasn't going to bother showing all this, but because the mechanism's actually quite good on the suit, it's worth doing. Because we've got a lot of these NBC suits, you just kind of have to try and pull it over, but it's nice that there's so many layers for this, in the sense that... And so far it's not covered me in charcoal as well, which gives it a big heads up over the British Army suits. Alright, I guess, let me not fully do that bit up yet until I've got the mask and everything else on. Um, so, how does the hood work? Right, there's a mesh on the hood. Not exactly sure how that works exactly. Um, probably just like that. Um, yeah, so there's a mesh on the inside of this. I don't know exactly what the mesh is for. Um, but what I'll do now is uh, I'll try and get the mask and the gloves and the boots on. I'm already starting to overheat quite a bit because as much as these suits are not as bad as the rubber ones for this, they still make you very warm. They're nice in the winter actually just to get suits like this to keep you warm, but um, for some use, uh, with my room already being close to 30 degrees, not great. Right, the boots went on quite well. Apologies if I be, it seem a bit sneezy, but I'm assuming there's talc and other dust on some of this stuff that's... Uh... <coughs> oh, that's disgusting, set me off. Um, so there's two sets of gloves here. There's these gloves, um, which I assume are under gloves, and there's these gloves which are over gloves. For the sake of this video, I'll just put on the overgloves. What's really cool with the boots is um, the trousers have like two parts to them. So you roll up one section of the trousers. Um, I'll see if I can show that later in the video better. But basically, you roll up um, this section of the trousers here, um, up your legs, put your foot in the boot, do the boots up, then you put those layers of the trousers down and tuck them into the boots. What that means is that you've got a proper seal around the boots, which I've not seen done on other NBC suits. So, well done, whoever designed this. Uh, smart guy. He's um, come up with a thing that's, you know, better than him. Same thing with the sleeves. 
wow, somebody's design really knows what they're doing. Um, which is sometimes a bit surprising with military stuff. So I assume with this what you'd do is you'd have your hand through there like that. You'd put the glove on over the top and then you'd Velcro around the glove. So let's test that. So, yeah. Right hand glove. Massive bulky um, glove. Looks very sort of competent but again problem with these gloves is you can't feel stuff too well when you've got it on. So let's do this. Tuck that in there. And then Tighten the Velcro, which is always difficult with these things. There we go. That's not perfect, but it's given me multi layers of protection that way. Now let's see if I can manage it with the other sleeve. So again, I'm doing Velcro. This is why you should always do your left glove first, not your right glove, because I'm right-handed, or you know, whichever your dominant hand is. Because now it's suddenly like I've not got proper control over my hand. Wave and wobble that about, but I'm sure this will at least amuse you, the people watching the video, me being really incompetent at putting on these things. So, again, as you can see, you've got like a second layer of sleeve there um, for the uh, actual stuff. So, let's get this glove on. To be honest, my feeling of my hands isn't too bad in these gloves. Uh, they seem fairly decent. I said they are butyl rubber from what I read online and butyl rubber is the rubber you use. It's like what the S10 is made out of and all the great masks. Uh, you don't use silicon like the Americans thought was a good idea for obvious reasons. Right, um, now let's see if I can get that back over. Which said, it's always why you do your um, right of second but ah. Again, this is as frustrating as most NVC suits. The design is actually a lot better on this, but I've never seen a really user-friendly NVC suit yet. So, there we go. Let's tighten that. Again, this is not perfect, but I'm not going to be using it in a chemical warfare scenario. Right, last thing for it, let me try and somehow get my mask on, and then we'll put the hood up. Okay, so that's the mask on. As you can probably see, I did have to take the gloves off because that was just really hard. I actually managed to cock that strap up, so... Let's try that again. So, round the back and hook into the thing. There we go, that's better. So, um, yeah, because it's just so hard to put the mask on, you might, you might be meant to do the gloves as the very last step. Um, obviously, I've uh, just taken the gloves off to do this. In the video, uh, I'll test the suit without the gloves. Um, but yeah, the gloves should work fine. It's just, you know, they make doing videos like this really difficult. So let's get this on. Can't remember if this is a left or right turning filter. Probably uh, left because it, the mask is facing away from me. Yeah, there we go. So filters on. Right, let's try putting the hood up. So it should there should be the ridge there. Yep, that's where the uh, suit's designed to sit. So now let's do the zip fully up. Yeah, that's there. Now, is there a bit of Velcro that goes round here? Because I can feel Velcro on that bit. But I don't think that would stretch round. Uh, anyway, let's tighten this. Okay, so that's that. So, now it's just figuring out the bottom of this hood. Uh, let me undo the zip again a minute. So, how does this, do I put this bit over first, then that bit? I really don't know. I assume it would do up like that, because that way it's um, doing that. So, I can't see from here if I've completely covered my chin or not, uh, which is a bit of a problem. But Actually, it's meant to go over the bottom of the mask like that, I think. Um, but again, I'm not really sure how I'm meant to get the two bits of Velcro to touch each other because they're clearly not going to move around the suit like that. Anyway, for the purposes of this video, I'm sure having the mask, um, that's maybe just about done it, I'm sure having the mask like this will be fine. Um, let's just get that hood up a bit better. So there we go, that's the full suit on. So what I'm going to do now and hopefully my neighbour won't come out, is go into the garden dressed up in all this get-up minus the gloves so you can see all of it. 
um, or maybe I'll just put on another pair of much thinner gloves for this video and then you can see what the entire suit looks like. Then we're going to do a quick test of the suit which should be interesting. Right, pretty hard to set the camera up for this bit. If you didn't notice in the last bit, I definitely hurt my hand because one of the punches really didn't land right. I'm just using some tactical gloves at the moment, not the proper chemical gloves. So I'll keep the gloves out of the way of the water. But you might be able to see I am in a shower. So what I'm going to do, um, I can't close the shower door for this, is I'll step as far back into the shower as I can, um, about here. I'll flick it on. And let's see if I get absolutely soaked. Only my hands are getting wet, I said, because of the gloves. Right, let's turn the shower off and uh, see what the result is. Obviously, bear in mind I might get a bit wet when I actually take the suit off because I'm not uh, going to follow decontamination procedures. Some water's definitely got in, but I'm pretty sure that was around where I couldn't be bothered to get the uh, neck bit done up tight. And through the gloves, everything else seems fine. So let's uh, let me get out the shower and then we'll give that a quick test. Okay, so I'm out the shower. I might be dripping a bit of water off of the suit, but otherwise I, I feel basically perfectly dry. The only water that got in was on the gloves that aren't waterproof, uh, and maybe a little bit around the face seal of the hood where I hadn't done that properly. So let's undo this. Now, there's definitely my own sweat in the mask. That is one thing, but not sweat, not um, actual water. So let's get this off. And that was far more water than the German NDC suit was exposed to. So yeah, it looks like a bit of dampness there, but again, that was the seal on the hood. And that was absolutely nothing wrong with the hood. It's because I couldn't quite figure out how to do it. But as you can see in the mask there, and there is a load of sweat in there. Uh, quite a lot of sweat actually all around the inside of that mask which is lovely, but obviously I'm sure you know if you are in NDC gear it is very hot and uncomfortable. Even stuff like this which is meant to be the more comfortable stuff, it's why I say to most people, you know, you probably ought not to really bother with NDC gear. But anyway, for the most part, yeah, I seem to be dry, so let's get this suit off. Well, it's a relief getting it off, but I tell you what, I am very impressed with the suit actually. Um, so let's look at the inside. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's dampness there. That is from the inside, not the outside. That's my armpits. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the same on both arms. So, um, yeah, that's a sweat a sweat sort of odour. It's not too strong, thankfully. I didn't wear deodorant, but... Um, let's strip this bit off as well. Um, let's undo the button here. Get the trousers off. I'll probably have to get the boots off first, actually. So um, what we'll do is I'll pan the camera down so you can just sort of see the boots coming off in action for those of you who are interested in how this works. So what you do is you pull up this bit, then you undo these so the boot goes loose. Take that off. See, the boots are actually really wet, but my feet are totally dry inside them, so they do their job. Uh, then you've got like this double kind of bit here, which is, if that's in frame, which is the um, bit, that's the bit that goes around your foot and everything else, that's the other bit. Uh, so we'll do the same on the other boot. I think these are actually proper over boots due to the size of them, so I think these are actually, you know, designed so...
you would wear them over your infantry boots, which is a good design because some of the over boots I've seen you can't do that, which makes them really impractical. But if you look at the size of them, I'd be pretty certain you could um, fit regular boots into there for the most part. Um, there's even a bit there where it looks like you can tighten them and adjust them, which I didn't need to do because uh, I wasn't really doing anything proper with it. So I'll just pan the camera back up. You're not going to see anything naughty anyway in a video like this. I was wearing shorts under it, but. I might have to undo the ankle cuffs actually. Were there ankle cuffs? I can't remember because they seem pretty tight. Oh, there we go. So yeah, my legs are totally dry under there. Inside of the suit is totally dry. There's a load of water around the bottom of the suit, it's where the boot was, as you can probably see there, but the water did not get through. So unlike the German NBC suit, this did not fail. So, like I said, the only bits that failed were where I didn't do it up properly, and a lot of it was my sweat with the moisture inside there, which as I said isn't pleasant. So the Polish Foo One suit is actually really nice. Um, I think Beastall's probably still got some more for sale, so what I'll do is I'll link you to his eBay page, you can have a look, but as I said, he very kindly sent me that for free. Um, like I said, I personally like the rubber NBC suits, I, and I know they're even less comfortable than that, but like I said, the rubber NBC suits don't expire, however, that is much more complex and cool, in a sense. Um, like I sort of said before, the fabric sort of charcoal suits and all that, they're much more advanced, I can see why they're much more, you know, better for modern military stuff. You know, it's fully camouflaged, so it works like a proper thing. It's more breathable than the rubber suit is, so it is more comfortable. It's still not comfortable because it's an NBC suit, unless it's really cold weather, then they are really snug and cosy. Um, but yeah, speaking of all this, I'm very impressed with it. Like I said, the gloves are probably a bit too big for me. Uh, these gloves are far better, but these aren't waterproof. Um, so you say part of where the water got into the suit was through these gloves. Uh, these are just nice tactical gloves. As I said, I did hurt my wrist at one point because somehow when I threw a punch with the suit and everything else on that didn't line up. So rather than my knuckles, uh, you know, hitting where I was aiming, I think I sort of caught the corner of my arm. You'll probably see me wince in the video. Um, so that'll be a good fail compilation thing for anybody who bothers stealing other people's videos. So fail compilations and that. But anyway, as I said, it all works well. I'm very impressed with it. Um, as I said, more of it is me needing to train with it if I was going to do up the thing properly. But as far as I'm concerned, the suit works fine. Compared to that German suit I showed the other day, when that failed, obviously, because uh, the water eventually just penetrated it. I stood in the shower for a decent amount of time, not loads of time, but as you could see, that was long enough in the shower that nothing was getting through. The only place it was getting through was around the corners and the gloves. The gloves, because they're not chemical gloves, they're not waterproof. The top bit, as I said, because I hadn't done it up properly around the mask. Um, although it's designed to work with the MP5 and MP6, these suits, um, you know, if I was to use it, I'd probably use it with a CT12 or whatever, you know, like mask I'm really familiar with and I really like. Um, but the suit totally did its job. And as I said, when I opened it, you could hear the air hissing out. So the foil wrap on these is good. Um, it means that, you know, technically expired suits should still work. Or if, you know, you've got one and it's gone over the expiry, don't bother, you know, worrying about it. Because as far as I'm concerned with that, you know, it's like I said with foil wrap filters that are really good. They're good enough. And obviously a lot of the NBC suit comes from its waterproof coating. And obviously the waterproof coating on this works because I'm not soaked. Like when I put even less water on the... Um, German suit where the entire suit just soaked up the water and then did like a cold compressor water onto me. So there you go. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the Polish Fu One suit is really good. Um, I said a big thank you to Beastore for sending it me because I can't really afford to buy lots of stuff like this. So um, as I said in the description, there will be a link to his eBay shop where if you're interested in buying stuff like this or other random surplus, you can get it. Um, there's no other sort of sponsorship or anything on these videos, but you know when people send me stuff for free. I do obviously appreciate that and explain that I have been sent it for free because obviously if I'd paid loads of money on something, sometimes my opinions may differ a bit than if I'd been sent something for free. So when I'm sent something for free, I always declare that, but you know, Beastall doesn't send me any checks or anything, so um, you know, I'm, I'm not obliged to say anything's particularly good. You know, where he sent me stuff before, he said some of this is like old commie crap that probably doesn't work, you know, but have fun with it. So. Um, there we go, but the modern Polish Fu One suit is actually very good. Out of my fabric suits, easily the best one. Kicks the crap out the British Mark IV suit. I don't think they've gone past the Mark IV NBC suit yet. 
it's basically that but just made to a much higher quality standard uh, the German suit again it's got much better do up bits than the German suit and it didn't fail and again when one of these suits gets really old yeah it might start letting water through but for the sake of this video where I tested it it's worked absolutely fine so Polish Fu one suit big thumbs up